All right, we are going to be looking at equilibrium part three. Uh, this is the third part to the equilibrium series that I've been producing here. And in this part, we are going to be talking about how to calculate the equilibrium concentrations given the initial conditions of a system. Now, we're going to be doing this by looking at several different examples. And so, in the previous videos, we talked about the reaction quotient. We talked about how to write the equilibrium expression. And so, this is a continuation. Those are the foundations as to how we go about solving for the individual problems that we're going to be looking at. So, we look at our first problem here, and it says, a reaction between hydrogen and fluorine gases form an equilibrium to produce hydrogen fluoride gas. If the initial concentrations of hydrogen and fluorine gas were 0.1 molar, what would the concentrations of all species be at equilibrium? The equilibrium constant for this reaction was determined to be 150 at 298 Kelvin. So, a couple of things. First thing we need to do is we need to write the equation and balance it. So, so hydrogen gas is H2, fluorine gas is F2, and it forms an equilibrium to produce HF, and so that's going to be 2. All three of these species are gases, so they all three are going to be involved in the expression. So remember we talked about that in the first part where liquids and solids are not included, so you've got to be really careful and pay attention to those physical states. So we're going to set up the ice chart first, and we're going to get the basic information in. So they said it was 0.1 molar hydrogen, 0.1 molar fluorine, nothing here. So right now we got to figure out the change. Well, the change can go either towards the reactants or the products. Now, in this case, the products are nothing, zero. So the products are going to come, are, be, are going to be in play here. So that means it's going to be plus 2x for the HF, and it's going to be minus x for both reactants. Now the equilibrium is where you just bring everything down together. Okay, so now we're getting to a point where we're going to write our equilibrium expression. So uh, K is equal to the concentration of HF squared divided by the concentration of H2 divided by the concentration of F2, which is equal to 150. Now we're going to you know, substitute in the equilibrium into the expression here. So now we're going to have 2x squared divided by 0 0.1 minus x divided by 0 0.1 minus x. All right, so now it's all algebra. So there's two ways you can solve for this. Uh, there's, we could put these two together and we have 0 0.1 minus x squared. Then we can take the square root of both sides, which is the most logical way to do it. Or you could solve for the quadratic equation. Now, the reason why you, you might be asking the question, why would I want to use, to use the quadratic equation? Because the quadratic equation is going to give you a better answer in the end. So, let's use the quadratic equation just so we can see how that's done. So, what we're going to do is we're going to foil this out. All right. So, we need. So, we're going to foil out the bottom, and then we're going to multiply across. So what you end up here having is 150 is equal to 4x squared. All I did was simplify the top part there, which is equal divided by 0 0.01 minus 0 0.2x plus x squared. Do keep in mind that I have gone ahead and worked through the FOIL and simplified it to this form here. So then we're going to multiply this over to those sides so that we can start getting things separated here. And so we end up with 4x squared is equal to 1.5 minus 30x plus 150x squared. Now the quadratic equation re requires you to have ax squared plus bx plus c form so you can use it. So we're going to subtract the 4x squared to the other side. So now you have 0 is equal to uh, 
1.5 minus 30x plus 146x squared. So this is your ax, this is your bx, and this is your c. So we're going to put that into the quadratic equation. Now when you put that into the quadratic equation, what you end up with are two x values. So you get x1 being 0 0.1195 and you get x2 being 0 0.08596. Now we, we, so which x do we use? All right, typically you might have a positive and negative. You would never use the negative that's out of the picture, but there's both positive here. So we look at the ice chart, we look at the initial. Your x cannot be greater than the initial concentration because you can't have a negative overall. So right off the bat, we see that this one's gone. So this is going to be your x that you use. So we want to calculate the equilibrium concentrations for all species. So the way we go about doing that now is we look at H2 at equilibrium and then we also see that the F2 is going to be the same so we're just going to calculate those together so that's going to be 0 0.1 minus X in this case 0 0.1 minus 0 0.08596 and that gives me a concentration of 0 0.014 molar now the last thing we have to do is your HF at equilibrium where we're just going to do two times to 0 0.08 Five nine six, and what we get there is zero point one seven molar. Okay, so here we have our equilibrium concentrations for all three. You can check yourself. In fact, that's what I always tell students to do: check yourself because you can. You know the equilibrium expression here. All right, we know that it's supposed to be equal close to one fifty. So what we would do is we would take the information, you know, the values we just calculated, and we plug them back into the expression. So you have 0.17 squared divided by 0 0.014, and that's also going to be squared because they're times each other. And what we end up with is equal to 147.4. That's pretty darn close to 150. You round that up to 150 you're good to go so checking yourself always assures that you are doing it correctly so always make sure that when you're done with this part if you're having to calculate the equilibrium concentrations you plug those back in make sure that you your value of k that you calculate is consistent with what the actual value is so the second one that we're going to look at is a problem that involves phosphorus pentachloride and its decomposition. So at 300 degrees Celsius, the equilibrium constant was found to be 11.5. The concentrations of PCL3 and CL2 at equilibrium are both 0 0.01 molar. Calculate the equilibrium concentrations of PCL5. Now, this is one where we're just going to set up the ice chart, and it's not really needed to do this, but it is to just so we can see what's going on for the equilibrium. PCL5 is equilibrium, PCL3 plus CL2. So they said that the equilibrium concentration was 0 0.01 for the two products here. All right, and now this would be plus X since there's nothing here. And these would be minus X, assuming that the initial was zero. We, we don't know any other information, so we're just making assumptions here. But we do know that your PCL5 is going to be X for the equilibrium concentration. So what we do is we write out we write out the equilibrium expression, and we end up with so the concentration of PCL3 times concentration of CL2 divided by concentration of PCL5. And we know the equilibrium concentration for PCL3 and CL2, which are 0 0.01 respectively. So we plug those in here. Now we don't know the bottom one here. We know that this is X. 
And so now all we do is we'll just uh, go through the, the algebra. So we get x is equal to 0 0.01 squared divided by 11.5. And so we calculate x to be equal to 8.96 times 10 to the negative 6 molar. And so that answers the question as to, so we know that this is here is the equal of concentration for PCL5. So we know that that's equal to the concentration of PCL5 at equilibrium. So that's that's our end goal there. So this is just a simple problem where they give you the equilibrium concentrations. They don't give you initial, so it just makes the problem a little bit easier. All you have to do is solve for x and then plug it back in. Now, let's, say, let's pretend if that if this was 2x, well, we'd have 2x here we'd have to take this x that we calculate and multiply by 2 so that way we end up with the correct concentration but that's not the case here so we're done with this problem now the last problem that we're going to look at here uh, is involving a decomposition reaction of, of CH2Cl breaking down to CH4 plus CCl4 so given that the initial concentration of CH2Cl2 is 0 0.0206 fill in the table with appropriate concentrations and or variables so this is 0 0.0206 this is 0 0 so these are going to be plus x and this will be minus 2x so here we have 0 0.0206 minus 2x this will be x this will be x so here we're going to uh, write out the equilibrium expression that's the first thing you should do we have concentration of ch4 times concentration of ccl4 divided by ch2 cl2 squared so our goal is to calculate the equilibrium concentration for ch4 so we're going to try to solve for this guy here. Now we do know that the that this is x times x divided by 0 0.0206 minus x squared. Now these two multiply together to make x squared. And what we can do is we can take the square root of that side now we know that 1.05 for the equilibrium constant because it's given to us here so we take the square root of both sides And we get this to be equal to uh, x divided by 0 0.0206 minus x, which is equal to 1.02. So we're going to do a little bit of algebra. We're going to multiply this side over here. And then that way we can get, then we need to rearrange and solve for x by itself. So, so we got 0 0.0210 minus 1.02x equal to x so we're going to add over to those sides to that point zero two one zero is equal to uh, two point zero two x so all we did was add this to this side over here and that's how we get the two point zero two x here so now we just divide out the point you know zero two one zero by the two point zero two and we get our x to be equal to 0 0.0104 molar. Now, the concentration of CH4 at equilibrium is equal to x. In this case, x is equal to 0 0.0104 molar. So, I hope this helps a little bit with understanding how we can go about using the different types of problems and determining the equilibrium concentrations for a certain species or